Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, welcome back to this video series, Central and Inscribed Angles of a Circle. Now, the previous video, the first one of the series, was the basics of the relationship between central angles and inscribed angles, and I'll go over that briefly again. Um, this is the first problem set, though, where you get to try on paper, and I'll show you a few problems, and then I'll go over it with you. We'll finish the series with the self-quiz, so make sure you look forward to that. All right, let's get started. As I mentioned last time, uh, we'll start with a central angle, say 40 degrees, where it's pinned to the center of the circle, and the arc that's created here will also be 40 degrees, okay? The central angle and the arc measure are the same, central angle. So we take the pin out and we put it somewhere else on the back of the circle, anywhere, and I've shown three examples here, but it could be anywhere. As long as the vertex is on the circle itself, now the angle stretches and closes in to half its original measure. So 20 degrees there, or 20 degrees there, or 20 degrees there. Those are called inscribed angles because the angle is inscribed in the circle from a point on the circle. All right, so that very quick concept, I know I keep harping on it, but you will need to know that. And also, don't forget how much of the circle is a semicircle. So look for diameters. That's a nice little clue there. All right, let me show you some problems for you to try. All right, please take a look at numbers five and six here. And um, given the information in the diagram, can you figure out the measure of those arcs? All right, I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, good luck to you. Number five is 210 degrees. Okay, and if for some reason you didn't get that, remember that Z here is an inscribed angle and we have this side of the angle and this side of the angle and it opens up into an arc x y it's a major arc basically and remember that the inscribed angles half as the arc it creates so there you go you double it and that'll give you 210 for the arc and number six fairly simple here again you notice the angle is um, e and it is 62 that's an inscribed angle and so double it because that will open up to give you the arc measure and that's 124. All right, so those are the first two fairly simple. Let's try two more. Numbers seven and eight. Can you find the missing angle in number seven and missing arc measure in number eight? Go ahead. All right, number seven is 97 degrees. All right, angle Q is going to create, it's an inscribed angle, and it's going to create this RS arc, a major arc there. The arc is 194 and take half of it to find the inscribed angle. So it's got to be 97 degrees. All right, number eight, fairly simple hopefully. This is an inscribed angle, 35 degrees at Q, and it opens up to create minor arc PR, so you double that because it's an inscribed angle 35 and the arc is double 70. All right, so again, we're kind of warming up here for some harder problems. Look for the next video, which will be problem set two. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.